Howdy! It is Picky Eaters Part 1. So I deal with a lot of moms who, who call me and say, look, my kid is just a really picky eater. Now, there's often two things that I see, and I'm going to start with the first one, um, which isn't always the most common, but I'm just going to give you this piece. One of the major reasons that I see picky eaters is we've got to figure out who's running the show. Now, mom, take a look at your temperament and take a look at the child's temperament. Um, sometimes you've got a very powerful child. You've got a child that absolutely knows what they want and they are gonna determine that and they are black and white and they're not gonna have it and all that good stuff. Um, if you are a softer personality and easier going, it's real tempting with that strong little being to give in. Um, and here's the problem. They don't know what's good for them, you do. And also, you've got to understand that it is not conflictual to hold your ground with that strong little being. In fact, if you hold your ground with that little being, uh, you, uh, you'll actually gain their respect because that's all they're looking for. They really want boundaries. Children always want boundaries. So if you are set and say, no, one bite, one bite, keep trying it, and you keep coming up with that food, okay? Just one bite, um, that's all great. Now sometimes, honest to goodness, they just aren't gonna want that. But if you're seeing a real pattern, and that's where you as a mother can determine this, all right? And don't beat yourself up if you're a, a temperament that's more easygoing. There's lots of lovely things about that, but if you have a very strong, demanding child, um, they are your gift in learning how to really set boundaries and hold steady. Uh, that's how you will gain your child's respect. So when you're introducing foods, when you're starting with baby food, the most important thing is to sit down and you be eating and they be eating. And they're eating the very food that you're eating. So you're taking the food you're eating and putting it through a little hand baby food grinder, which will, is on my resources page. If you click on the link near this video, it'll take you to my resources page and you can see the little baby food grinder that I highly recommend um, as a way to start children out. And again, you wanna make sure you're not starting them out with a whole lot of sweets because if you start with fruit, they're gonna want fruit. We're hardwired for sweet. So always start with the vegetables. Always start, now you can start with the sweeter vegetables like winter squash, butternut squash, things like that. Uh, but wait on the fruit, keep fruit in between meals. Fruit isn't as crucial as vegetables. So those kinds of things, uh, but more important than anything, is really assess who's running the show. And there are some kids that are really, they're tough, um, but you're tougher um, because, because of your love. Um, your love for them is the toughest thing that you can give them. And that love means, yep, yeah, we're gonna do this. Yep, yeah, just one, one bite. Okay, one bite and always have the reward is the food they really love, okay, that you have no problem giving them. You know, whatever it is they love, it's like, well, one bite of this first and then, then, you, get, uh, then you get what you really want. And if you continually do that, and they've shown that sometimes it takes eight, nine, 10, 11 times of introducing a food when a kid finally goes, oh yeah, that wasn't so bad, um, I really like it. So um, two, three times is not enough keep the thing rolling. All right. You can do it. Um, part two is coming up on Picky Eaters.